at, at risk of starting trouble, which I don't want to do, but I'd like to have your input, please. I'm, I'm asking for help, asking for a favor. If you're capable of having a, <laughs> a intellectual type of discussion about photography, please join us. That's what we're trying to do. But of course, navigating through the, the, the depths of the internet and the people who like to post nasty things. Hey, help me out. If we're moving towards e-products, right? Very few of the photographers that I'm working with in a commercial setting as well as a, a average style portraits, right? Family portraits, senior portraits. Most of us are heading towards the idea that, you know, we're going to be selling products that are going to fit on a screen versus a print. Now, the print isn't dead and I just see that the e-product is going to replace the printed product as the primary means in which a professional photographer makes a dollar. All right. That means if we use a full frame sensor camera, we're getting a lot of data, right? Great data, data that maybe we don't need. I'm finding that I'm using mirrorless cameras for a lot of work that I do, and the vast majority of it doesn't really need to be the full size frame that I'm shooting anyway. Here's what I mean. If we're filling up a, a, a television, right, an HD TV, that's a 1080p screen. So that's 1080 pixels tall, 1920 pixels wide. Now that's big enough to make a small print without a problem, but it's not going to make a 16 by 20, right? It's not. Well, if the majority of us are not shooting that, why would we spend the extra money to buy a full frame sensor mirrorless camera? Now, hang on a second. I know some folks, they want maximum quality and they want to shoot big groups of people. I get it. That's percentage wise. That's a very small amount of the dollars generated by today's professional photographer. 